से साधु 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 सो डियर धामा प्रैक्टिशनर्स एस ऑर्डिनरी पीपल फ्रॉम मॉर्निंग टू नाइट ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन वी ऑलवेज लुकिंग फॉर हैप्पीनेस सेटिस्फैक्शन एंड आवर कंफर्ट फॉर दैट वी ट्राई टू गेन मेनी थिंग्स टूअर्ड्स अस and always grasping holding clinging keeping close to us and we do many kind of things this anything is nothing wrong because we do things according to our knowledge that what we have and according to our culture tradition and and our poor fathers our ancestors our grand parents used to do the same thing so we know the same thing and we repeat the same but it is important for you to see what you gain out of this are you really gain that what you look because when it come to happiness and the satisfaction or the joy or the comfort it is not something material it is completely 100% condition of our mind it is connected to our mind it's a psychologically kind of like a experience so then you have to look yourself in day to day life that whatever you keep doing looking for this happiness satisfaction comfort are you gaining it or whatever you do to gain the happiness or the satisfaction detach you from your own happiness or the satisfaction and people like to be happy but at the same time people like to enjoy life people like to celebrate life but sometimes there are that innocent desire take them to jail and they take them to end their life misery unhappiness sadness worry disappointment stress anxiety depression fear so then if you gain these things out of your physical or mental or verbal activities that whatever you keep doing sake of happiness so then you have to look again where i went wrong why this happened to me because your intention was to gain happiness but now you end up with misery then you have to look very carefully it's all kind of like you know it is inside the mind it is the way that you behave your mind nothing else don't blame to god or don't blame to stars don't blame to your horoscope don't blame to any kind of you know that the mysterious powers or kind of like that they cannot decide that things it is your own choice it's kind of like a lock so every day you have you know the door lock see opening and closing any lock the, the the same mechanism it's inside the way you maintain can lock it and open it the same thing with your mind also so whatever come to your eye ear nose tongue body mind whatever you experience in day to day life can lock you or make you free can make you unhappy or can make you happy so that is the wisdom that you have to understand so then whatever you have around you is nothing wrong with this anything so but are you capable to use your experience to to make you free 
or make you open or make you liberate or make you happy or rather than make you lock unhappy sad worry so if so if it is go to that unhappiness sadness worry disappointment then you have to look why because the way you maintain the lock is wrong so when it come to that if you look for the happiness and the satisfaction one thing you have to be very careful and you have to put the attention so that is your heart or you can name it as a mind or your heart so whatever that you are in a awareness so when it come to this inner awareness it's mostly get tangled disappointed with the greed hatred and the delusion so that is the the very simple way to understand this method but when it come to that eightfold path in the samma ditti samma sankap so when it come to the second one right intention so that is something that purify your heart that's mean that always you have to to remind it and always you have to be mindful and always you have to keep active it in your heart so that is very important it will make you unlock your inner this behavior or oh, it will always make you free and not allow you to tangle or harbor into greed hatred and the delusion so there are the three ways that you always have to think or the develop your mind with the intention nikamma sankalpa avyapad sankalpa avihinsa sankalpa so the nikamma sankalpa means in day to day life so i get the, give the negation of that in day to day life that we always have desire to go towards something make something happen get into something hold into something so that is what we always doing and at the same time thinking the result going to be good result going to be good you know we do everything like that way and we never look we never stop and look a little bit how about if this is not going to work this way or how about if it is not the exactly like that we don't think like that from childhood to now we train our mind always whenever whatever come to our eye ear nose tongue body mind it's mostly 100% we grasping and holding and clinging to that thinking it going to work for us and it going to bring that what you want so that is the very basic way of life but when it come to the nikam sankalpa means you develop a method and little bit to to stop this jumping or going forward it's mainly when it you come to the completion of that it's a giving up renunciation or the giving up or get out of something rather than go into something but you have to have some kind of clarity or the clear mind to not go towards something so for that you have to look very carefully and you have to see when you going to do something with your bodily verbally and mentally action and you have to look very carefully so what will happen to you it is not always in the positive side and just seeing the the negative side of it and understanding if something go wrong what will happen so if you able to see that way you you will recognize It's like a life. It's like a 
you know war and so when uh, when when you plan the war it's always not kind of like a you you can you know go forward then you're going to win no you always know you know what will happen what may can happen on the way you no know? so when you going to play it's not like always you thinking about you going to win no you always know what going what may can happen so you you prepare for that but in our life the mostly we always naturally is you know in our mind naturally we go towards something thinking it should happen the way we want and that will bringing the clinging or the grasping or the holding nature to us and then when what will happen when something go wrong then you got disapp get disappointed mad unhappy sad worry why because it it didn't happen the way you thought so then you you come to a point when something didn't happen the way you think then what will happen you you naturally become unhappy so nek nekam sankalpa means you start to to give up knowingly this sansara is never end and this emotion current is never going to end this i ear no stung body is not belong to you and it just go with the flow with the current and holding again and again and again jumping place to place place to place place to place so in the very first level you have intention to attain to nibbana that's mean end this becoming so that is the beginning of the happiness as i mentioned the happiness is a, you know psychological experience it is a thought when you have the the becoming nature or clinging or holding nature what will happen your mind always have the desires and you cling into desires when you have the desires you're not going to be happy but when you have the intention to one day to end this finish this done so just by thinking about it you going to find the peace happiness and once you have that little by little in day to day life now you have the the higher goal your major the purpose in your life what is attaining to nibbana so get out of this not rather than becoming and keep going keep going end this and then you become very careful you add that intention to little little work so then in day to day life you not going to do any minor things minor activities you start to get into the major activities in your day to day life that all the minor things you give up so that is nekam sankalp that giving you peace so as example just to practice point of view when you driving why you have to check the the messages so why you have to check your phone when you driving you drive so that is your major purpose so that is you 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 have to you know use your phone but that is minor when you unless somebody call or emergency call keep calling calling then you stop and you answer you have to do that but without that anything when you driving why you watch, why you check your messages see everywhere now you know need to put signs you know don't use cell phone don't check your messages don't text like that so the nikkama sankalpa means always you come to a point in life so whenever the the situation or the condition come you go to only the major things you give up minor 
situations in your life. That way you become more and more comfortable. What happened to us? We go to the minor things, we forget the major. We go to the very minor activities in day-to-day -day life, we forget the major things in our life. As example, when it comes to health, it is a major important thing in a conventional life. So, but in, you know, when somebody eats something, so just imagine, you know, they eat chips or, you know, uh, popcorns or candy or something. And it is not good for you. So you know that. And health-wise, it's not good for you. So then that is your major. So, but you go to the brain and you keep talking. Then what happened? End of that, more than the other person, you eat. See, that is what happening. So the nekam sankapa means, no, in the beginning you recognize right away, you give up, you give up, you give up. You not go into it. You go away from things. So with the desire that whatever rises in your mind, you not go towards it. You go away from it. That make you happy. That make you comfortable. That make you peaceful. That brings the joy to you. Try it. Try one day. You will see. And Avyapada Sankappa. So the next one, non ill will, ill will. This the ill will is it's a kind of like a, you know, anger, unhappiness, this kind of things. So you develop the loving kindness. And another way that uh, via, uh, the Vyapa Avyapada Sankappa is the Vyapada means ill will and pleasure in causing pain and suffering. You know, you like to make other people put into supper. Avihinsa sankapa. So, these things, you know, make your life more miserable. So then in the beginning, try to get out of the, the ill will. And don't have the desire to, you know, make people unhappy. Don't have the hold it to the anger, hatred or the jealousy. So how you can do that? And practice the loving kindness. Otherwise you cannot get it. Get out of it. Remember little by little, little by little. And so even yourself, thinking about yourself and practice yourself loving kindness. And then regarding other people, rather than blaming, fighting, resisting, and start to practice loving kindness. So that way, you know, you will get out of it. And now we hinsa sankapa. So it's kind of, you know, that uh, you always have the pleasure to, to disturb others and bring the pain to others. When other people in pain, you become happy. When other people in suffering, you become happy. So that also you know, dirt our mind, unpurify our mind. So it brings the unhappiness to us. So then what you have to do, do develop the compassion. You know? So when it comes to compassion, it is just not the idea. So you have to help for other people, share your life with others. So that is where the generosity comes. Physically you can help, mentally you can help, verbally you can help. Materially, you can help share your life with others. So that way, it, it brings the joy to you and it, you purify your mind itself. So those are the three things that how you can purify your life, purify your mind in the beginning. In the bottom level of your heart. Nekkamma sankappa, avyapada sankappa, avihinsa sankappa. So giving up the desire or the becoming nature and the regarding that the sansar in the beginning you have the intention to 
to get into the nibbana, giving up this sansara. And then little by little you become disciplined and stay with only the major things and getting out of the minor. Avyapada sankapa, non ill will, and the anger or the you get out of the anger or the hatred. So for that, as a counteraction, you have to develop loving kindness. So avinsa sankapa means that cruelty that you always have the, the intention to do harm to others, pain, bring the pain or the suffering. So you get out of it. So the, as a counteraction for that, you have to develop the, the compassion. So those are the three things. You always have to keep in your life to purify your life. And when you're able to purify that way, your heart and your happiness going to be there. So other than that, you know, this conventional happiness, happiness always going to change. And it always depending from some situations, it is not permanent. But this happiness, until you attain to the Nibban. So this happiness, if you purify your mind, your heart, little by little, little by little, little by little, this way, you find the path, path to to keep the happiness with you every day. So that happiness make you rich inside you, nourish you, bring the joy, the satisfaction, the, the bliss to yourself. And at the same time, you will share it with others. And then everybody going to feel the, the bliss in this human life. So with that, I bless upon everyone. With this good practice, may all of you be well, happy and peaceful. May no harm come to you. May no difficulties come to you. May no problems come to you. May you also have the patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties in your life. During this time period, may everyone stay healthy and safe. And finally, may all of you attain supreme bliss of Nibbana. Sabbitiyo ajjantu sabbaro ko vinasatu mate bhavatantarayo sati digayuko bhava Ittavata chami sampadang kunya sampadang sabbe deva numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe bhuta numodantu sabba sampati siddhya sabbe satta numodantu Sabha Sampatti Siddhiya Idam Me Punya Kamman Asa Vakkaya Vahangotu Sabha Dukkha Pamunchatu Bless you.